does make, what is it about this town? We came up with really four ideas, or four, four pillars, if you will, that we believe make this community unique. And that's entrepreneurship, philanthropy, collaboration, and the vision what this should all look like. The big difference about this community is we are not a one industry town. We have such a plethora and breadth of companies in sizes of over 2,000, and 60% of them are still family owned. 60%. A professor at Grand Valley some years ago did an analysis of that. It's the highest percentage on a per capita basis in the United States. It's really what gives us this strength, this local, multi-generational, family-owned companies that make things. The issue is about broadband, uh, connectivity, um, IT, and that really that whole industry. Because we talk a lot about infrastructure, and when we think about infrastructure, we think about hard infrastructure, right? Water, sewer, roads, um, airports, ports, etc. But but what has become a key driver of industry is really the, the ability to connect. And that is, I think, where this area needs a lot of work. Uh, if you want to be an entrepreneur in Owego, that may not be so easy because you still have dial-up service. And that, to me, just isn't acceptable. So Right Place is leading a 13-county um, effort to analyze where, where are the holes in the broadband delivery system so that you don't lose phone calls. This, this country, this region, and this community really need to um, look very, very closely at our, all of our infrastructure, but broadband is a big one. The fact of the matter is uh, people ought to be able to be an entrepreneur in whatever part of the state or region you're in, and not just in big cities. So, If you can't give of your treasure, give of your time, but get involved. It, you can't sit on the sidelines. You just can't sit on the sidelines. So my question to this room full of many young people is, what tree are you going to plant for the next 20 or 30 years? Thank you. <laughs>